I'm alongside Jack Evans here at Edgar Street. Good to see you back after your fractured elbow and dislocated elbow. I wasn't sure we were going to see you before the end of the season, but you, you've managed it. Yeah, no, I've been. Uh, I was back in training this week and spoke to Jan after Leamington game, and I was confident anyway when I was when I was at. Um, I was it that we played with Kingsland last last home game when I was here. I was sat on the bench speaking with physio anyway, hoping to try and try and get him back for this. So no, I felt good out there fitness wise. A little bit, a little bit getting back up to speed with the sharpness of it all. But no, it was, it was nice to be back playing. And you, you encouraged the crowd because you were getting forward down that down that left leg. Yeah, well, that's me. I mean, that's what I'm I'm here to do, and especially in that uh, setup that we were today with, with a diamond in midfield. That's what I need to do. Me and Skip get up and down. And give us that, give us that width and that um, that threat out wide. But I, that's what I enjoy doing. It, it suits me that position because I can get up and down and gives me that little bit of freedom and assurance with the lads in there to to tidy up. So now, like I said, I, I enjoy being back out there. Encouraging as well that the showed fight back as a as a collective unit from the goal down. Yeah, that's been a bit of the frustration um, throughout the season where we've gone behind at times and we've we've put in good performances and you know we've played really good stuff, but. It hasn't always fell for us in the box, and we haven't been clinical enough. Which you know, I was, I was buzzing for Lloyd today to have got his two goals, and should have been three. Um, wasn't offside, but that's is what it is. But um, no, I was, you know, that's that's a real positive that we can take from today. And it's disappointing not to come away with the three points because I genuinely believe we deserved it. But um, it's a good point against a team that are up there, um, and something that we can build upon going into the last three now. Well, the officials got a lot of stick. Uh, during that game, from the player player perspective, uh, how did you take to the referee and his assistant today? Um, listen, it's done now. Um, we've got to take responsibility and look at ourselves before we pin blame on anyone else. But I agree, and you know, I was frustrated with a few of the decisions. Uh, but I am every week, and that's just what it is in this league. Um, and like I said, we can't rely upon decisions. We've got to um, dictate and rely upon ourselves and what we create and how we are defensively so yeah of course it's frustrating because we should have a third like I've already said but that's just how it is and um, we've got to look at ourselves before any, anyone else. Obviously a, a three points is what you're looking for a victory somewhere along, along the line but you showed uh, <coughs> you, you're much closer than perhaps uh, supporters thought you were. Yeah like I felt with the position that we've been in um, it's false in, re in respects of our performances and when we spoke after the, the game at Leamington um, the ability we've got I don't we, we shouldn't be down there um, in the position that we are but it's just those fine margins which haven't fell for us throughout the season um, but there's only a couple of a few games really um, throughout the season where I felt you know we've come up against no disrespect to the other teams the way I felt like they've been a good team we've come up against in the majority of games if not all the games are playing I genuinely believe that we should be winning and we should come away with, with the three points but it's just not quite fell for us which has been the frustration but um, no it's a, a real positive again because you know they're in a good position and um, we want the three points but we get a point to build upon and we go to Peterborough now with confidence and a good performance and we put them to it in the second half and uh, we carry that on now for the last few. How close was Ryan Lloyd to a hat trick? Well, he should have had a hat trick because it, it was onside. Um, but, you know, again, that's that's the frustration that we've had. But there's other opportunities that we've got to look at. And then equally defensively, myself included, we um, we can, we need to look at how we deal with the goals that we concede. Um, so it's very easy to say, oh, you know, what about this? What about that? But ultimately, we've got to... That's what happens in this league. You have those those frustrations um, in any game that you go into, um, and it's about how, how we react. Points target has the, the interim gaffer given you a points target to get between now and the end of the season. It's just we take it game by game, and that's how it has been. Um, you know the boys all been really enjoy it under Jan, and um, like I said, we we just take it each game as it comes. I know that's a bit of a cliche to say, but that's all you can do. Not look too far ahead and. And just focus on what the job it is and um, so you know today's done we'll reflect upon it we'll look at the goals we concede we'll look at areas that we can improve upon and what we've done well and then we go into Peterborough we prepare right and that's the next one that we focus on thanks very much for your time no worries